check the link in the description below there you will find thousands of questions and answers and videos related to electrical and electronics engineering nodal analysis question compute v1 and v2 in the circuit of figure here in this circuit we have to calculate v1 and v2 by using nodal analysis as we can see there is a voltage source between v1 and v2 so this form a super node so this is a super node problem solution for this video will be here this form a super node now again let's draw the circuit again and this will be our super node so we will erase this from here and this hole will be a super node this is super node now let's say this is a reference node with zero voltage all the currents toward reference node let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 and this is current i3 now we will apply kcl at super node apply kcl at super node now according to kcl that is kirchhoff's current law summation of all the current entering a node is equal to summation of all the current leaving the node now here at this node entering currents are at this super node only this 3 at an angle of 0 degree is a entering current at this super node so here we can write 3 for simplicity we can only write 3 is equal to now leaving currents now leaving currents are i1 i2 and i3 these are the leaving currents from the super node so i1 plus i2 plus i3 now this i1 can be written as v1 minus 0 divided by minus j3 v1 minus 0 divided by minus j3 plus i2 now i2 is v2 minus 0 divided by j6 v2 minus 0 divided by j6 plus i3 now i3 can be written as v2 minus 0 divided by 12 v2 minus 0 divided by 12 now if we simplify this further so it will be we will write this term on this side so it will be v1 by minus j3 then plus now this term will be 1 upon i into 6 plus 1 upon 12 so it is we can write it as it is 1 by 12 minus 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 j v2 is equal to this 3 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 j v2 is equal to 3 now let's say this is equation number 1 now from super node from super node here we can see from super node v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 is equal to 10 at an angle of 45 degree so we can copy it from here v1 minus v2 is equal to 10 at an angle of 45 degree we can ignore this 4 ohm now let's say this is equation number 2 now we will solve equation number 1 and equation number 2 so we will solve this by using matrix solving equation 
वन एंड टू सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड टू वी गेट माइनस वन अपॉन माइनस वन अपॉन जे थ्री माइनस वन बाय जे थ्री एंड फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टू दिस विल बी वन एंड हेयर दिस विल बी वन बाय ट्वेल्व माइनस वन बाय सिक्स जे वन बाय ट्वेल्व माइनस वन बाय सिक्स जे एंड फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टू दिस विल बी माइनस वन देन हेयर दिस विल बी वी वन एंड वी टू नाउ इट इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड हेयर इट इज टेन एट एंग टेन एट एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दिस फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड डेल्टा सो इट इज इक्वल टू जस्ट वी विल कॉपी इट फ्रॉम हेयर डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस टर्म सो वी हैव टू फाइंड डिटर्मिनेंट सो इट विल बी लाइक दिस so it will be minus 1 by j3 this term into this term then minus this term into this term 1 into 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 j if we solve this we will get the value of delta so it will be minus One upon this i into three into minus one minus this will be one by twelve minus one by six into i. Now it will be minus one by twelve minus. One by twelve minus one by six j minus one by six j. This is the value of delta. Now we will find delta one. So delta one will be. We have to replace first column with this value. So we will copy this again from here. and just we will replace the first column with this value 3 10 at an angle of 45 3 10 at an angle of 45 degree so 3 into now determinant of this will be 3 into minus 1 and then minus 10 at an angle of 45 degree multiplied by this value 1 upon 12 Minus one upon six j. If we solve this, we get this will be minus three. Minus three minus ten at an angle of, or we will take it in bracket ten at an angle of forty five degree multiplied by one by twelve. Minus one by six into this i. So it will be minus four point seven six minus four point seven six plus zero point five eight nine j. This is the value of delta one. Now delta two. so delta 2 is equal to again we will copy the same determinant of delta and we will replace column 2 we have to replace this column 2 by 3 tan at an angle of 45 3 10 at an angle of 
45 degree. Now determinant of this will be this into this minus 1 upon j3 multiplied by 10 at an angle of 45 degree minus 1 into 3. So this will be minus 1 upon i into 3 multiplied by 10 at an angle of 45 degree minus 3. So it is minus 5.35 minus 5.35 then plus 2.35 j. Now next we can find the value of v1 and v2. So v1 is equal to delta 1 by delta. The value of delta 1 is this value. divided by delta value is this value. Now if we solve this we get V1 is equal to minus 4.76 plus 0 0.589 into I divided by minus 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 into i. So it is this value 8.54 8.54 then minus 24.16 j. Now we will convert this rectangular form to polar form. So shift 2 3 so it is 25.63 25.63 at an angle of minus 70.51 it is the value of v1 now next we have to find the value of v2 so to find the value of v2 v2 is equal to delta 2 divided by delta the value of delta 2 is this value this is the value of delta 2 so we will copy it from here and divide it by delta value delta value is this one again same So if we solve this then we get v2 is equal to minus 5.35 plus 2.35 into i minus 5.35 plus 2.35 into i divided by minus 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 into i. So this will be 1.56, 1.56 minus 31.32 j. We can convert this into its equivalent polar form. So it will be shift 2, 3. So it is 31.35, 31.35 at an angle of minus 87.14 since it is a voltage so its unit will be volt now what we have to find in this question we have to find compute v1 and v2 in the circuit of figure so we have to calculate v1 and v2 so therefore v1 is equal to this value and v2 is equal to this value don't forget to check the link in the description below thanks for watching